Well, hello everyone, it's me, Daniel with Website Candy, and today we are back in my favorite, most favorite application that Adobe has ever produced, and it's called Photoshop. Uh, over here in Photoshop today, I did a couple banners. I wanted to do the creation with you guys, but I just wanted to give you guys a uh, talk. I wanted to talk to you guys about creativity and where your creativity comes from. Um, where it comes from for you, I have no idea. Where it comes from for me, I have no idea either. It just happens that way, you know, but uh, I guess this talk is just really don't be afraid to jump into Photoshop and explore and have fun and don't worry too much about where you're going to get your assets and where you're going to get your images from and if everything's lining up correctly just go in there and have fun and see what you can come up with um bohemian hair paradise website um they're on the cuff of launching they're like 98 percent done uh with their website and they'll be launching here in the next day or two uh, i'm pretty sure so definitely be on the lookout for that link beneath this video um might not be out you know today when you actually watch the video but eventually you know here real soon uh, i'm going to come back to this video and post the link for their website i'm still debating on the name of what they're going to call the website and everything but uh this is the fourth of july banner right here uh, as you can see over here um you can be very uh compact in photoshop which i love it i love using groups in photoshop uh right over here this eyeball consists of the red banner that i've done for them and as i twirl this down i got a little bit sloppy uh, over time um i usually try to name my layers especially if i'm working with others but over here is uh, uh top flag copy and here's the top flag right here so i can just turn that off because i know exactly what layer belongs to what um the little funk back there kind of gives that little bit of red tint i'm not sure if that's really trans translating over to you guys throughout the video but um you know just a bunch of different layers having fun with it trying different things out now the cool thing about working with different layers is a matter of and i want to show you this before we get out of here off this banner is the monte's fashion so bohemian dress paradise and they're also you know thinking about the name of monte's fashion as you can see there i can easily change the name they were debating like which one do we want to use what are we going to name the website for sure so i said hey let me put both names on there let me send you both images and whatever you decide to use you upload it to your website and you go with that but you know through photoshop you're able to do that very easily uh, very simple so let me put the bohemian back on there um the one they're leaning towards the most and let me collapse this um, folder down and let me turn on the blue folder that was the red now here's the red the blue photo right here I really like this uh, banner when I was in a creation uh, mode of making this banner I was looking at another example of a banner and the other example of the banner was kind of similar to this but it was nowhere near this and that's what I'm saying don't be afraid to be creative in your design um, what I'm going for here is the 50% sale and the 50 percent back here you know it's the fourth of july it doesn't say fourth of july but i'm shooting for the american flag type of swag when it comes to the verbiage here um a lot of times you know people are putting all kind of information they got a bunch of sentences and people are really not taking the time to stop and read what they're actually promoting on the sale it's it's almost like a subconscious thing in the back of their mind they see 50 percent sale they see all the 50s um they see the star uh they see the stripes they you know it says fourth of july it says red white and blue and that's all you really need you know so don't be afraid to try things out the owner of the 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 website uh i i sent her i showed her the banner after I created it, you know, and I was actually out there tooting my own horn like, oh my God, this is an awesome banner. If you don't want it, I'm going to sell it to Macy's. Macy's is going to buy this banner um, because I was really proud of it, you know, and I had to kind of sell her on the ideal of the American flag there. And she bought into the ideology. She said, OK, I see what's going on here. I like it. You know what I'm saying? But bring it down a level because, you know, you got the big head right now. And I'm like, OK, I'll bring it down. And I started celebrating in the bathroom you know what i'm saying so i mean it's just one of them things to where 
don't be afraid to be creative. Uh, the next video or the next video upcoming uh, within the next week or so, I'm going to definitely, uh, you know, give you guys a you know a tutorial on how to create this banner uh, give me a thumbs up give me a likes if you are interested in how to create this style of banner and if you want to actually go through it with me and, and see how it's actually done um but other than that man that's all i got uh once again sorry for the black bars you know the 80s style a buddy of mine sent me over text messages say yeah man you got that whole 80s swag with the bars on the side there so i'm gonna take this video over into final cut and try to get those black bars out but if anybody has any information on how to get them out how how to remove them black bars let me know because i'm interested and i'm tired of them black bars on my video other than that man thanks for watching and i will talk to you guys in the next video goodbye now